Hey folks, Mama B here. So I finished my little road trip and I got most of this uh, next row done. I'm going to teach you how to do it with some scrap yarn because starting it out is a little tricky. And then I'm going to um, finish off this row. You see, I've, I've just about got it done. So with our, uh, starting with our scrap yarn, we are going to pretend that this chain is the top of this double crochet that we've done all the way around on the single crochet. Okay, so what we do for this stitch is now assume that this is a complete circle, so you're you've got a whole edge here. You're gonna chain two. Then you're going to do yarn over, and you're going to skip two and go into the third hole, the third stitch. Then you're going to drop off two, and then drop off two more to do yarn over. And you got this kind of a teardrop look. Next, you want to chain two. Now this is going to be different than all the other stitches because this is when we're first starting, right? So you chain two and that's that forms the other side of your stitch. And then chain two more to form the top of your stitch. And then you do yarn over and come right back down. And I like to hook two of these threads right at the top of that teardrop. And then you'll just drop that off like you would a double crochet. One, two. That's how you start a new row. So you'll have a completed stitch when you're finished if you do this right. Then you go on and the rest of them will all be like this. You chain two, then you do yarn over and yarn over. You want to do yarn over twice then you come down to your row and you skip one, two, and go into the third stitch. Yarn over, pull through, and then you drop off two. Okay, now at that point, you have to build the other half. This part of your stitch, you built this one, now you got to build this side. So you do yarn over again, skip two, go into the third. And do one, two, drop those off, drop those off, and drop those off. And you'll go all the way to the top, dropping two off at a time. And you chain two, one, two, yarn over, and you come back into that the top of that teardrop and just hook a couple of the threads. And you'll quickly get to know which ones look best. Which ones to hook? I like to do the top two. Sometimes it makes the stitch go wonky if you don't grab those two. Alright, so that is what it looks like. I'm going to do one more and then we'll go back to the skirt and work on that. Two over, skip two, go into the third, Drop off two, yarn over, skip two, go into the third, build that base of the stitch, and then work your way two by two all the way up to the top of the stitch. Then we do chain two, um, double crochet into that top of the teardrop. It looks like I'm done with this tutorial. Chain it off or drop them off as a double crochet. Chain two and carry on. Work all the way around that skirt. That's what it looks like. We're going to continue on with the skirt, and you can see how that looks where you've got your little teardrop point at the bottom here. And it comes up, and it's basically you're making a cross. 
Okay. So. Get situated now with my finer thread, and I hope you can see it. That's why I use the yarn. Okay, so I'm coming near to the end. And I want to tell you, sometimes when I, when you crochet free form, kind of random, without patterns like I do, you get it to the end and you have extra stitches. What do you do with it? Well, I'm going to tell you right now, don't panic because there's a way to work around it. So in this case, I come to the end and as I get there, I see I have, instead of two loops to skip, I have three. Well, in this case, all I have to do is finish up the stitch and just ignore that there's three instead of two. Chain two, go into the last stitch with a slip stitch. And it looks great. Do you see that? Now what happens if you get going along, you come to the end, and you can't ignore because you've got like five extra stitches. Well, in that case, what you want to do is instead of adding or skipping two in this bottom part, just skip one or skip three. That way it works out and you'll choose to skip more or less depending on how much space you have left. You can stretch it out by skipping one extra so you go three instead of two or you can uh, fit more in by skipping only one and that will do the trick for you and then you don't have to worry about having a weird ending. Okay, so now like I said, I really like having another row of double crochet on the other side of this row of this stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and we're familiar with this. Chain three and then just double crochet in every stitch. Now if you want it to be fuller and you'll have to decide you can increase, but I wouldn't increase too fast or you will have a lot of work ahead of you. I like to increase just a little bit randomly. Um, and as I work it through, uh, try not to skip any stitches though. But I'm going to show you another little thing. Sometimes with this stitch you get big stitches. Do you see that, how big that one is? It's almost an eighth of an inch space in there. So if I'm going to increase, I'm not going to increase in that one because I don't want that stitch to stand out and be obvious. But this one, this one's really tiny and so I will do a double crochet in that one and it will hold the weight better and not make it as, make it obvious that that one is a big stitch. See how that and then it makes it look a lot nicer. Okay, so we're familiar with the double crochet working around the bottom of the skirt. Um, just go with that and we'll see what our next stitch is that we come up with. But this is going to look really pretty with that going all the way around. Well guys, I hope that this helps you and I hope you're having fun. Don't get discouraged. Have a lot of fun. Sometimes people get overwhelmed when they don't have a pattern to follow. And we don't want you to do that. Just take it step by step. We'll work with you. I hope you're enjoying this and I hope this is helping you out. Um, thanks so much for your time and thanks for subscribing to our channel. We love you guys. Have a good day.